Hey guys, Sachan here, and today I am bringing you my Harry Potter slash Daniel Radcliffe uh, makeup tutorial uh, because I use Daniel Radcliffe inspired Harry Potter. So if you want to know how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, guys, what you're gonna want to do first is prime your face either with like a primer or a lot of moisturizer. So first I'm going to start off with uh, Mayron Celebre Pro Cream Makeup in Soft Peach. I'm going to use this little spongy and I'm dabbing it on my arm to warm up the makeup to skin tone so it's easier to blend out and stuff. Okay, next is contouring. For this, I'm using Daniel Radcliffe. I'm doing the movie version of Harry Potter. Yes. So what really helps is having a really uh, nice face-forward picture of Daniel Radcliffe and with like maybe a heavier shadow where you can see all his facial features a little more pronounced than you normally would so you know where to do it. So, this part is more watch and see what I do, but have Daniel Radcliffe's picture on hand for reference because you're going to need it. I believe I'm going to use uh, my Celebrate Pro Cream Makeup in Soft Beige. Oh, and do the same thing. Warm it on your um, skin so it's easier to apply to your face. So for blending it out, you're going to want to take a different brush. So I'm gonna Oh, I've been using my May, uh, Made You Look by Lex um, eyeshadow brush, the big one, and for the blending, I'm going to be using my Mayron Stage Line 320 brush. And usually I like to blend out the edges with the foundation sponge after I do the initial blending. And don't worry if your contour gets a little out of control because you can correct that when you get to the highlighting. <laughs> now that we're done with the contour, we're gonna go on to the highlighting. Now, I'm pretty freaking pale. So, I'm gonna be using my white Mayron um, eye cream, eye color in white, uh, and mix it with the foundation a little bit with my soft peach uh, cream foundation so I get a nice highlight color. I will be using another 320 brush, a different one. <laughs> Now for the highlight, I like to um, use my fingers, just because it always seems easier that way. To set all of this cream contour, I'm going to use a translucent powder. So I'm going to be using my Color Set Powder Translucent Setting Powder by Mayron. Now take a fluffy brush and fluffy brush. 
more professionally a powder brush that I do not have on hand right now. And you just put it over everything in a dab dab motion, not like a sweeping motion, because then you move the makeup. Do not move your makeup. Now when you're done pressing it, you wanna wipe off any excess powder lightly as to not disturb anything. So something that I like to do is reinforce the um, already contour with powder. I will then use my Mayon Cheek Powder in Contour and I'm going to use this is my B10 Eyeshadow Blending Brush by NYX. Now you're going to want to take a nice clean brush and I'm going to take my Made You Look Contour Brush. Now I'm not going to worry too much about the temple contour since mostly that's going to be covered by my wig. Now what I'd like to do with this is blend it out a little bit with my finger. Oh, we're gonna do the eyebrows. I will be using my Mayron Eyebrow Eyeliner in Dark Brown. Well, it's Professional Coal Makeup Pencil in Dark Brown. Now, if you make a mistake, get a little chip to block this. Okay, so a really nice thing about Daniel Radcliffe's lips are that it's very similar to mine, but he has more of a bottom look than I do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime our lips. The lips. Uh, prime my lips using oh, the words on the scratch up. This is NYX product. It is a lip primer, and I believe it's nude. lip slash lip product whenever I do guide makeup is the e.l.f. natural blush lip liner longwear lip liner because it's such a natural lip color where like you can pass it off as a guy's lips and yeah you'll you'll see I might have to pat it down because sometimes you know but we will see You want to do that to make it look more natural so it's not like, ooh, it's a harsh line. This is basically it. You can stop here, but what I like to do personally is I like to add a little stubble because I think it just brings out more of like the transformation. My two, one or two recommendations for this is either a stippling brush or a stippling sponge. Now I am going to use, I'll use the sponge. Now I'm going to use my eye cream, terracotta eye cream from Mayron. And I'm just gonna dip it 
in there. Dip it on here a couple times so you're not like dabbing on pure pigment on your face because then that would be not cool. So look at pictures of Darren Radcliffe and see how his uh, where his hair grows, but. Okay, and I would set that with a little bit of setting powder, so if you touch it, it won't smudge. There we have it. Okay, I'm going to put my wig on and glasses, and one thing I forgot is the scars. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to save my Mehron Brew Perfect Ring Bruise 505B. More chugs. So I'm gonna take the red. Alright, I'm gonna use my Mayron 312 brush. Oh, get that hair out of the way, man. What you do? So here's the finished look, guys. Harry P in the his house. I wanted to make a nice Harry Potter reference, but then I was like, <sighs> if you liked it, please like, favorite, and subscribe so you can see more of my shenanigans. My shenanigans include makeup tutorials, cosplay tutorials, which basically are the same thing. Most of the time, um, art tutor, art, not art tutorials, art videos, singing videos, and vlogs and stuff like that. So, if you want to see more of that, subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. A note on Deviant Art or an ask on Tumblr. And until next time, Sachin out. Bye bye.